Oh, hi, it's a sack. You're gonna go buy some popcorn. Mm -hmm. May I have some popcorn, please? Oh, hello. Would you like to buy some popcorn? No! Hey, hey, hey. Sneed love bubble. And science. Hey, hey, hey. Sneed love bubble. And science. And we. Yep. Good morning, YouTube. What's up? We're at Disneyland right now, and we're about to go inside and have a good time. Disney. Downtown I'm Disney, actually. Downtown yeah. Disney. Downtown. We just got here. It was a fun ride up. We listened to a lot of good music, and uh, now we're gonna go get in line and go inside Disneyland. What do you think about hey, that? I've got an idea. What's Let's that? Let's go through the um, hotel because we have our passes, so we can. Just... We can, can't we? Yeah, we can. I think we can. We're gonna go do that. Done that before. Let's do it. This is so pretty. I love this. But yeah. There's Jeff over there. The best part about coming to Disneyland on a weekday is there's no lines. We've walked onto everything so far. We're about to get soaked, so. I'm ready for this. You ready for this? No. About to go on Grizzly, what's it called? Grizzly Rapids? No. I think it's called Grizzly Rapids. She's a liar. I don't think so. It's not called that. It is. No. She's lying. I didn't get too wet. My pants are drenched. Ashley's pretty drenched though. Oh yeah. I'm uh, my pants are soaked. My shirt's cool. I need to go my phones are my good. real quick inside the gift shop. <laughs> Fly and rot. Ashley's gonna go do her hair. I brought a rubber band and a bobby Really? Band. I, I didn't get wet enough. You, you Ashley know. didn't get wet enough. We're going. I gotta hide my phone. Time to go on the Little Mermaid. Check out the entrance. You can't really see it yet. I'll show you guys more in a second. That's better. Now you guys can see what I'm trying to show you. See? Check this out. Look at that. See? It's goofy! So cool. What's this? What's this? Action Bronson! That's me. <laughs> look, you guys, look at the decorated city hall. Look how pretty. See? See the jack-o'-lanterns? Yeah, so we rode the train all the way around because I really wanted to see the dinosaurs. And then some guy left his hat on the train. So um, we're going to take it to City Hall and give it to the lost and found. Lost and found. And then we're going to go on Pirates. Pirates. Arr. Arr. So I'm trying to get to Pirates and uh, Ashley won't stop taking pictures. She's over there taking pictures. And yes, these are girls' glasses. I can't find my aviators. So I actually had these in the car. She got them from the dollar store. They don't look that bad on me. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, 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 oh. There's Ashley taking pictures behind me. There she is. But yeah, we're headed over to Pirates now. Slowly, but we'll get there one day whenever she decides pictures are, are done. No. We just sat down for lunch. We had a little thing of macaroni and cheese. A little kid size with some vegetables and some fruits. Ashley's eating her fruit. We're listening to the, the band over there. And we're about to go check out the Iron Man exhibit over in Tomorrowland and then go on Star Tours. Yeah. Are you excited about Star Tours? I am excited. Even though it gives her a headache, it makes her motion sickness. It makes her motion sickness? It hurts my tummy. It hurts her stomach. It makes... Did you guys hear that? It was an elephant. I thought it was a Jurassic Park Baby elephant. A monster, like a dinosaur. I don't know. Hey guys, so... Ooh, excuse me. We are in front of Haunted Mansion right now. We're getting ready. 
to open in three days. So I'm pretty excited about that. And check out these back and then follow this. I'm gonna show you again, hold on. There we go. Look. On Didmanjin. Three days! It's almost open. It's open in three days! That up there. This right here. There's Jack. This. Luck. Oh, I gosh, I can't ah. wait. I can't wait. Let's go them. September 13th. Hey, hey. Hold on. Hold on. Did I scare you guys? Comment no. down below if you're scared at all. He ain't scaring nobody. All right, I'm geeking out right now. This is amazing. Welcome to the whole Rock, okay. which was originally located in Tony Stark's Marvel Company. The whole Rock contains the first set of Mark 42. The Mark 42 is closely like the Iron Man. Look at these. This is the most evolution. Dude. Mark 2. Oh, it's so bad. Look at that. So bad. Mark 3. Look at the armor from all the battles. This is suit. I don't even know what number that is. XL2. On behalf of Tony Stark and everybody at Stark Industries, I'd like to That's welcome amazing. you to Iron Man Tech and Innovations. My name is Jarvis, and I'll be your host for this little peek behind the Iron Curtain, as it were. Welcome to the Hall of Armor, so which was originally located in Tony Stark's Malibu so Complex. Awesome. Those are pretty awesome, right? We're about to see the Honda Robots show. I'm kind of scared. Robots are kind of scary. I'm actually scared of robots. Electrical engineering, and they thought of everything. Check this out. Awesome, huh? Come this way, please. We're looking at me. Hello, Awesome. Hello, Kevin. Oh, Awesome. Please turn out to all of our new friends. And everyone wave and say, hello, Asimo. Hello, everybody. And there you are. Now, you might be wondering why Asimo isn't on wheels or treads or something like that. And Asimo, how tall are you? I'm four feet and three inches tall. Which is the perfect height for opening and closing doors or turning travel. Travel to the muscles, tendons, and ligaments in my legs, hips, arms, and shoulders, which all have to move in sync just for me to keep my balance. But, but the really amazing thing is that Osmo does something very similar to this, but uses motors, sensors, and computers to keep its balance and walk like a human. Be around the house. Oh, telephone. Lots of the Osmo. Okay, Osmo, just let me know when you're all warmed up and ready. I am ready. Alrighty then. On your mark, get set, go! probably wondering why is she freaking out that's really cool okay for one thing I've never actually watched iRobot or Terminator because I'm too terrified but like haven't you ever seen those movies what happens people create robots just like that one and they kill everybody like seriously does nobody does nobody realize this like oh my gosh and like did you see that thing running that is the creepiest thing ever imagine that chasing you with like a freaking gun or something. And like people are like, that will never happen. First of all, what's to stop them from making good right. Not only that, but like the thing that creeps me out is like that speci uh, specific type of robot is meant to help people. So my question is, once the robots figure out how humans are and that we're like really destructive and violent and we are like ruining the planet, 
what's to stop the robots from being like, well, my mission is to help people and these humans are destroying their planet and killing all the animals and resources, so I should wipe out the human race and the planet will be a lot better. I mean, it's not that crazy of a thought, right? Not at all. I don't know. It freaks me out. Like, yep. robots are the, oh my gosh, they're so scary. And you don't like aliens. Robots and aliens in one movie will kill you. Robots and aliens are like, oh my gosh, like the scariest things ever. Oh, so scary. This is my second favorite ride here. Can you guess what I'm on? What am I on, actually? Star Tours. Star Tours. I found C-3PO and R2-D2. Really cool picture. Yeah. Alright, this is our last stop of the night. We're at California Adventure. We're going to get in line for World of Color. Waiting for Ashley. She's in the restroom right now. Line starts in... Oh, the, the show starts in an hour and 15 minutes. And I do plan to close it to everyone. Oh, wow. I want that over right now. So if she hurries up, we can go and get in line for World of Color. If you haven't seen it, it's amazing. Here you go. left of it. It was veggie burgers and fries. <laughs> veggie burgers. Fries. I had the bonsai burger. I had the mushroom burger. He had the grilled shroom burger. How was your burger? It was delicious. It was so good. So good. And the so, floats are to die for. Oh yeah, we had root beer floats too. To die for. So we just wanted to close our vlog and let you guys know we had an awesome, awesome day. And um, common question of the day is what do you think about robots? Do you think they're scary? Because like for me, I think they're like the scariest thing ever. And I think we're not that far away from like iRobot or Terminator or any of those scary things. So what do you think about it? Comment down below. Comment down below. If you're new to this, these videos, please subscribe. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and we'll see you tomorrow. Also, about the comment question of the day, if you do think it's possible that like iRobot, Terminator stuff could happen, how close do you think we are to that happening? Um, and if you don't think it's possible, why not? Ten years. Ten years. Ten years? Alright, see you guys later.